150 days, 150 psalms, one verse from each psalm daily. Welcome to the place where you learn the Bible. I hope you're all doing well. Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even today, we'll be meditating Psalm 124. The Psalm 124 is a psalm of national thanksgiving. And uh, this psalm uh, is the theme of the psalm is about praising God for rescuing uh, David from enemies. So, this is another song of ascents but of david but this is but the other other song of ascents are mostly unknown authors but this has an author that is king david himself no uh the core verse is actually verse two but for us to understand the context uh, we will read it from verse one and also we will also read some verses even after verse two for us to understand the 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 deep meaning of this verse one begins like this had it not been the lord who was on our side let not let israel now say had it not the been the lord who was on our side when men rose up against us so the the core line that i want to talk to you if god was not on your side what would have happened if god was not on my side if god was not on our side what would have happened to us uh, verse 3 uh, david uh, talks about what could have happened he says uh, they would have swallowed us alive who is who are they the enemy the enemy would have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled against us the waters would have engulfed us the waters would have covered us uh, the streams would have swept over our soul and look at verse 5 then the raging waters would have swept over our souls he talks about worse conditions that could have happened to him if god was not by his side after talking about all that in verse 6 he says but because god was on my side blessed be the lord who has not given us to be torn by their teeth and then in verse 7 he says because god was on my side my soul escaped as a bird out of a snare of the trapper the snare is broken and we have escaped Dearly beloved, this is not just a testimony of King David alone, but this is the testimony of each and every one of us. Just think of the past of how many situations when we came and how we struggled. And in all those situations, if God alone was on our, was not on our side, what could have happened to us? We would have perished a long time ago. We would have been destroyed. We would have been eaten alive. Or, or should I say, we could have, we, we, we would have been dead and buried. We would have been in the grave and we would have been even forgotten, even by our own families. But because God was on our side, you and I are still breathing, breathing. We are living. We are not just existing, but we are living. Imagine the times when COVID was at its peak and people were dying. We are not alive because we are better than them. Many people died. We are not alive because uh, we are righteous than them. We are good than them. But somehow, for some sake, God kept us alive. That is what here the psalmist says. If God was not by our side, we would have perished. But because God was on my side, I am still alive. Tell you, beloved, never forget what Jesus said in John chapter 15 and verse 5. Apart from me, you can do nothing. Never forget what Apostle Paul, when writing to the Romans in 8.31 says, If God be for us, nothing can be against us. It is very important that we are fixed with this truth, with this hope. If God was not on our side, even if I had all the knowledge, all the power, all the wisdom, all the influence, if God was not on my side, I would have gone down to dust. Never let this truth, never let arrogance or pride ever take this truth away from you. Stay blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.